Whoa, that is deeper than I thought. Oh, it's all the way under. It's in my wellies. Oh no. <laughs> it's like proper under. Come on, up, up, up. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we've got the new RGT EX86181. It's a one temp scale. Uh, crawler looks a bit like a power wagon. They're calling it the off-road crusher crawler, which is quite ironic if you look at the state of this box. Anyway, let's have a quick look at what the um, specs are on the box. Then we're going to get straight out, have a closer look, and then like with most of my reviews, not just an unboxing, we're going to charge a battery, get it straight out, and give it a good test. So the specs: so you got full metal transmission there. Uh, your motor sits up front with the gearbox, and you've got uh, like a transfer case, or some people call it a divorced gearbox, I believe. So 550 motor sitting up front with your gearbox, and then you've got your transfer case going to the front and rear wheels. The same as the previous version of the RGT, the one that came out earlier on in the year. I think it's the EX100, EX86100 or 0100 or something like that. Anyway, really good, um, really good configuration there. So you've got 1060 waterproof ESC, says supports LiPo as well. Bead up tires. This is what I'm really interested in. Cantilever rear suspension. That is a first for RGT. To be honest with you, you don't see it often on many uh, crawlers. Body flips up like that for easy access in there and it comes in three different colors. I've got the yellow one, although it looks a bit more orange than yellow. Anyway, let's get it out of the box. So I guess these stickers are for the back. You know, they have wood or steel, whatever your choice is. Instructions, a set of straps there, looks like for your battery and some Hub caps for your wheels, and this is a first. A really nice set of stickers there. Lots of different stickers. You've got a Hobby Wing one as well. Very nice. I've not seen them before on an RGT. So in the box, you get a European charger with a Dean's connector on it. 2,000 milliamp hour, 7.2 volt nickel metal high drive battery. I found in the past, although they don't offer the wheel speed in the punch of a lipo, you do get pretty good runtime on these out of. Uh, the supplied battery. So standard equipment generally on the RGTs now is these uh, rebranded Dumbo RC transmitters. Really good transmitters. This one's a four channel. And because I've got so many, I have to write on all mine so I know what they're for. Let's go Crusher. So it's listed as yellow on the Banggood website, but it's clearly in an orange color. Got a few stickers over there. Got your spare wheel on the back. Beadlock alloys, tyres feel nice and soft, I don't know how much grip they're going to give but definitely a nice soft tyre, plastic bumper with plastic um, shackles, same on the rear, looks like you've got a, um, a space there for a tow bar, that's nice, magnetic, that's good, and then that's how you access in, I've just pulled out the lights but Right, that's how you access. So I can't see any way of holding that up. Maybe you need to tighten that a little bit. Right, I'm going to take this body off. It looks like it's just a couple of hex bolts there. I'm going to take this off so we can have a closer look inside. I've just noticed something about the center box that uh, I'm quite interested in. So have a look at that. Have a look at the rear suspension and just a general overview of it all. And body then, comes off really easy. Literally two. Um, hex fixings there and it comes off. So that is different to the last one. The last one was a lot smaller. I'll see if I can get a picture of it. It was The last one was pretty much the drive goes in from the gearbox and it just distributes it out to the front and rear axles. Well that looks like it's got extra gears in it. Let's have a look. So that's the new one. Definitely looking like, what has it got there? It says reverse gear set, transfer gear set. Oh, that's interesting. Not sure. But all I know is that is definitely a new feature. Anyway, so up front we've got a nice 550 motor sat there. 15 kilogram waterproof metal geared servo. And then there's your gearbox into your transfer case. 1060 ESC. Uh, these also run 3S as well. Metal drive shafts. Metal uh, suspension links. And then here is the cool feature of this one. The cantilever or inboard shocks. Don't tell Traxxas. 
So I'm not 100% sure on the reason for inboard shocks, apart from maybe some ground clearance, a bit more clearance around here, but you're definitely getting some nice flex with this as well. So that is a really cool feature and it'd be interesting to see who else starts doing stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not familiar with this suspension on other crawlers. Let me know in the comments if there's other crawlers that have got this cantilever style. Um, I know people do it as custom. They like custom make it on some of their stuff, but I'm not familiar with it. Uh, underneath, so you've got four link suspension at the back. You've actually got branded RGT dry shafts as well now. So four link uh, suspension at the back. Same at the front, but you've also got a panard bar. So you don't need that fourth link at the front if you've got a panard bar. I removed it on my other one. Um, but I mean it still works as well you just want the experience of removing the other one you get just a little bit more droop I don't know how well you can see this one but if you look at this side and look at this side with that um, extra link in there when you lift it it just doesn't drop on one side as much you can't really see on the camera but you lose just a little bit of droop uh, with that extra link in there so you can either remove the pan up bar or remove that link i'm going to run it stock as i do with all my stuff and that is it that is the overview of it i think what we need to do now is get a battery charged the suspension i'm not going to adjust it it feels pretty nice it's quite loose up the back there but i think it's designed like that to give it loads of flex i think we should just charge a battery get it out completely stock as it is I'm going to take it over the quarry. It's a bit wet and dirty out there, but let's see how this thing gets on. So those wondering about size, there it is next to a TRX-4. Yeah, ever so slightly smaller. The TRX-4 is generally a little bit bigger than one tenth anyway, even though it's listed as a one tenth. But wheelbase, very similar. Again, it's probably a couple of millimetres in it, but um, that's the size. Did notice as well that a little bit of uh, silver's come through where the paint's a bit of dodgy paint there on it. I noticed just a minute ago as well where the so it's been there given the silver undercoat, but obviously where the orange had reacted, it's gone through a bit. Can't really notice it. But. So here we are at the quarry. I've got this place all to myself. I rarely see anyone down here, but this place is awesome. And this truck is awesome as well. Well, at least it looks awesome. So we have had a lot of rain recently, but today it is really nice, no wind, nice and quiet. Hopefully the sound of this doesn't overpower my voice like on the last video. Um, but let's give this thing a run. We'll check that it's waterproof, which I'm sure it is. Um, and we'll see how it gets on. So, relatively good steering angle there. That's not bad. I've not done any adjustments to this. We've got turn signals. Some people aren't a fan of them. We've got headlights. There's also a rear light, but um, it seems to come on randomly. I don't know whether it's when you brake or not. Anyway, let's get this thing going. Nice slow control that transfer case in, that's your drag brake. Very nice. This is a bit noisy. Probably needs a bit of grease in there. We'll not go too deep in the water just yet because I want to uh, get it tested before we test how waterproof it is. Nice, slow control. So this is running on the stock battery. This is full speed. Not too bad. Let's get it on some rocks. Let's see how that suspension works. I'm really interested to see that cantilever suspension in operation. A 
really like how much control this has got um, with that throttle. Definitely a bit slippery today on this uh, these rocks. It's been raining for a couple of days now. to tell in the video but that is quite a uh, slope across there uh, I've had a few cars roll down there if you've seen some of my videos you can see it's just sliding out a little bit so far so good this is performing as expected for these RGTs um, I've got a couple obviously there's a slightly newer one so the version before this had that uh, motor up front, works really well. I forgot to say I'd worked out why the transmission was different or the um, transfer case. It's the drive shafts rotate in different directions and it's to uh, reduce that um, torque twist. There's actually a picture on the box I didn't see, it actually gives you arrows to show you that it, uh, like it counter rotates. Ah. The only thing I don't like about magnetic bodies is when they get caught here it lifts them up but cantilever suspension at the back there is working really well. Whoa! Oh. Are we going to get out of there? I don't know. <laughs> Had a bit of an Austin Powers moment. One way of getting out, are we gonna get out of there? Come on, come on, you can do this. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. On your wheels, come on. Oh, that's a shame. I thought we had that. What a really good crawler, this thing's awesome. I don't know if you can see the flex going on there, but nice. Nice, nice. And playing some water over there. I love the water here, it's nice and clear. It's um, really uneven with some nice rocks and stuff under it, and it looks good on camera. It gets pretty deep here, and I remember the last uh, RGT I had didn't really like the water. Whoa, that is deeper than I thought. Oh, it's all the way under. It's in my wellies. Oh no. <laughs> it's like proper under. Come on, up, up, up. <laughs> ah, it's all in my wellies. I did not realise it was that deep. Come on, RGT. Well, I suppose that um, answers that question. It seems pretty waterproof at the moment. Maybe that'll be another video, some nice underwater running of this. I know a lot of people are nervous of taking stuff in the water, so hopefully this will give you a little bit more confidence about it. I'm not sure I recommend uh, submerging it. Oh, you bloody brambles, get out of the way. There we 
we go, guys. That is the new RGT86, whatever it was. What an awesome truck. Link for this in the description. I've got the FTX Outback version coming very soon. Pretty sure it's exactly the same, uh, but we'll do a side by side. Cheers for watching. We're going to head over in that direction now. I'll see you next time.